Alright, I have some leftover MDF from my last project, so let's use it to build a nightstand. Alright, so I'm going to start off by cutting these 5 inch wide strips so that they have 45 degree angles on both sides. And I'm going to cut them down to 9 inches wide so that the depth of the shelf assembling it. It helps to use some tape to hold all the pieces together while you're gluing. And I just got my brad nailer. Here I am measuring the inside of the box so I can cut the piece that's going to be the back of the box. And I actually cut two of these so I doubled up the thickness of the back, give it a little bit more support. And then I just measured and marked where I'm going to drill some pilot holes. And I did that 16 inches apart because most studs are 16 inches apart. That way I screw right into the studs when I'm installing it. Come over to the router, put some 45 degree angles on just about every part of the box. I think it gives it a nice dimension. As you can see, there's a little bit of some gaps. And all I'm gonna do there is just fill it in with some this plastic putty. I find that using my fingers easiest, just take the putty and push it into those cracks and then smooth it over. I just still use my finger. I use the finger to smooth it over so that it, I don't have to sand nearly as much. And then I'm just using a orbital sander, just going over the whole thing. Got to be careful on the edges to make sure you don't actually change those 45 degree angles with the sander. To make it easier, you could just use a sanding block. That way you can make sure you don't actually ruin those corners. time for paint. I just go over the whole thing with a tack cloth to remove all the dust. And I'm using oil-based paint 
I like the way it sits better. I think it sits um, a lot flatter. It doesn't have all the ripples that I get with water-based paint. And I just paint the inside of the box first. I paint the corners and then um, after I paint the corners, and in this case, the roller wouldn't get in those edges, I also am painting those edges with the brush, and then I'll go ahead and start rolling the inside of the box. And then I paint the bottom of the box. And then I flip it over and put it on these little stands paint the top and the sides and the rest of the box just with the roller. Since the bottom of the box isn't going to be seen unless you got right under it while it's mounted on the wall, you won't see the little imperfections those stands leave. This is after the first coat. Barely got done painting it, so it's still wet. Still a little ripply. It's definitely gonna need a second coat. All right, before the second coat, I went ahead and used some of that putty to fill any dings or dents that I could see after the first coat. And here I am just gonna do the second coat. This is all it should need. Shouldn't need any more coats after this one. Just go ahead and paint the inside of the box again, just like before. And then paint the rest with the roller. There it is after the second coat, still wet, but it looks pretty good. Really happy how this one turned out. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.